must have forgot their alphabet Let me explain, here it goes A is for ambition, be what I wanna be See past the situation that's in front of me what is up guys it's Joseph Arning and I am back with another video welcome to the lab I am excited for today's video I think it's gonna be a lot of fun and if you haven't caught on yet from the title which is probably gonna make it super obvious but in today's video we're gonna be taking two super all-american classic sneakers and making them one if you don't know what I'm talking about yet for whatever reason I don't blame you like I'm a little slow sometimes too so <laughs> we're gonna be combining the Air Force One with the Air Monarchs. These are two completely different shoes. Like one of them is like a dad classic because it became like a whole meme and you see them at every barbecue and every parents weekend while the other one is a sorority staple. And I am personally a fan of one and not the other. I really like the Air Force One. I actually own a pair. But as far as the Air Monarch, like they tried to make it a thing like two years ago, but it just never popped off. You can see why. Like, I get it, it's comfortable, and Air Force Ones are not that comfortable. Like, if you ever walked around in a city all day in those shoes, it will kill your feet. But the Air Monarchs are just so ugly. I don't I don't get the vibe. Like, they're not ironically, like, cool. Like, the let's say, like, the Balenciaga Speedrunners are. And they're not interesting. It's just, like, a generic sneaker that you bought, and then you put a Nike logo on it, and you called it a day. Maybe back in the day it was a vibe, but now I don't think so. So I'm honestly interested to see what this is going to look like because I see sneaker swaps all the time where people take two different sneakers and put the sole in the other and like the top of the other and like combine them. But I've never seen an Air Monarch an Air Force, or an Air Force One done. If you've ever seen someone do it, like feel free to like put it in the comments so I can check it out. And yeah, let's get started. So we're just going to take our picture of our Air Force One and our Air Monarch and I want to trace out the entire um, bottom of the shoe. I just hate the way this shoe looks for a lot of reasons because it's like a kindergartner's shoe but then you in just enlarge them for some reason and they're huge and they're clunky. But they're really comfortable, like really comfortable. So I, I understand why people buy them, I understand why they've been around for so long but it's just, it's ugly, you know? Like, if I'm not buying shoes because they look good, why else would I buy them? And right now, I'm trying to find the best position to put it at. And the reason why I picked these two sneakers is because they're two designs that once they made them, they just pretty much never change for some reason. And I think that's what happens when you have a good design. It's like... And no matter what year you put them out in, people are going to gravitate towards it, people are going to like it, people are going to purchase your sneaker. So, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's just like one of the things about classic designs, like Chanel. Their bags have been the same for years and years and years since they came out, pretty much. And people still get the same exact reaction that they had when the first bag came out that they do now for every new bag and every old classic bag that they have and that just speaks to a great design in my opinion so right now I'm just trying to make sure the leather matches up and the stitching like looks like it's supposed to be there and it's not very hard but it's it's the shadows and stuff that kind of make it weird to do so and it's looking pretty good so far the only difference is that the Air Force Ones have like more of a brownish tint whereas the um, Air Monarchs are like a bluish tint which is understandable because it has like navy on the sneaker but every time I see sole swaps I've never seen this shoe done before so I'm kind of extremely curious now I'm just trying to match the color the best I can I just took a pigment from the Air Force One I'm putting on top of the Air Monarch trying out different layer styles and seeing what works and it looks like this is the best one so far and overall I'm really liking it I did not expect to like this this much and I'm just now realizing how similar the two sneakers are like they're kind of they're really similar surprisingly and I didn't expect that because when you just see it all together they look so different from one another and they're just such different vibes so that, like when you combine them it's interesting to look at and I think that if this sneaker ever came out I would definitely have to buy these in pretty much every color just because I think it looks great 
and let me know what you think because I think we did a pretty good job and they turned out okay. So now you're probably thinking, wait, you have to do the high top with the um, Air Monarch sole, which I 100% agree, so I did it anyway. And we're going to see how that turned out because it's going to be, it's, I feel like it's going to look completely different just because... Even the low top Air Force One from the high top Air Force One is just such a different sneaker as far as like aesthetics and as far as the look you're going for. So seeing these two worlds combine is going to be even more interesting in my opinion. So now I just want to, I'm trying to cut out the entire sneaker from the background as I've done before. If you guys know an easier way to um, clear out like a white object from a white background, please let me know. Because sometimes you don't get it right and it's hard to see and you're like staring at your computer for a few minutes and nothing's matching up and it wastes a lot of time. So if you know a better, easier way, just feel free to put in the comments. Like I've already told you guys, I'm completely self-taught, completely amateur. And if you are better at design than me and you can give me some advice, I am completely open. So now I'm just matching it up, and so far it's looking strange. Like, I don't I don't think that this would ever sell in a million years. We'll see what it looks like when I blend everything in better and make it actually look like one sneaker, but right now I kind of hate it. <laughs> it feels like, you know when Balenciaga put out that croc that was like platform? That's the feeling I'm getting from looking at these. Like, it looks like a shoe that doesn't deserve to exist, you know? They accidentally made it. And um, right now I'm just doing the same as I did the other time, adding the stitching, making sure everything lines up properly and it looks like somewhat cohesive because it's not going to be perfect because that's just not the type of person I am, especially since this is just for fun and just for us to like hang out and like do some cool design stuff together. Right now, the final moment of truth, like the color match changes everything to be honest. Before you batch the color, it sometimes doesn't, like, you don't see the vision. You don't see what's going to happen. And, whoa. That looks a lot better than I expected. I am shocked. Like, I would actually buy these. I feel like this is going to, if this really existed, it would be the perfect shoe. Because Air Force Ones are, like, more, like, solid and, like, chunkier. And you can, you can feel the weight of them when you walk. And that's a fact, like... If you deny that, I don't know what to tell you, but it's definitely a heavy sneaker. Whereas Air Monarchs, they feel like you're walking on a cloud. So this is like the perfect like desert boot kind of like sneaker combo that for some reason companies get wrong every time. I just hate this sneaker. Like it looks like a it looks like a boat. I'm not even gonna like front. It just looks like something you would take out to the sea on a nice Saturday afternoon. It does not look like something you'd put on your feet. So I'm just gonna trace around it for the third and final time hopefully and see what kind of vibe we get I just think it's funny how this sneaker out of all the other awesome iconic gorgeous sneakers Nike made in the past this is the one that the people chose to keep around it's just it's so ugly that I wouldn't even keep it around after like one launch but you guys kept buying it, so now we're stuck with it forever, apparently. I'm pretty sure when I have kids, we're going to still see Air Monarchs around just because they're that popular. And I'm realizing that because of how like much thicker the Air Monarch sole is compared to the Air Force One sole, it's going to have like a thicker sole look, almost like a Creeper, or like, uh, I think that's what it's called, Creepers, like the ones with like the thick soles, you know what I'm talking about. And I... Not sure how I feel about it so far. It's looking a little bit orthopedic, and I'm concerned. Right now, I think the color match will save it. We'll see, hopefully. I'm trying to I'm trying my best to save that little check mark in the front. Because it's just such a cool feature, honestly. And every time you see it, you know exactly which. I think I want to match it to the inside sole of the sneaker because those are more like adjacent colors to each other and it will kind of bring the warmness and the coldness together and right now it's not looking good because everything I tried just seems to not be working for some reason and I don't like that. 
this is probably going to be the sloppiest one I do because I really I'm tired and I don't feel like going back and forth and trying to like refix everything. It's even looking a little bit green, which is not what I wanted, but I don't think the odds are in my favor for this one. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Like some things are meant to be. Air Monarchs are not meant to have Air Force One soles, and I think that's just it because every other sneaker, the sneaker designs you guys just saw me do worked out fine, but this one is giving me every problem I can think of. Like it's not blending right. The front toe does not want to be where it wants to be. The colors look off. It's turning green for some reason. The quality is low, which it wasn't low for the others. It was low, but like it wasn't as low. So now it just, it, I don't think I'm going to do a good job on this one just because I'm feeling kind of lazy. And you you get the point. Like it's it doesn't look good altogether. So we're just going to save this one and call it a day. I actually decided to go off camera and fix it because I just couldn't leave it looking the way it was before. It was just, even though this is still kind of sloppy, it was just not good enough for me. I hated it. And I fixed the toe box because I was hoping and praying that after I did that, I would actually like the sneaker. But it's, it's a no. Like maybe it's just the creeper or the fact that the top of the shoe and the bottom of the shoe are just have such similar heights. But it looks very orthopedic, very grandma, very grandpa. We took an already elderly shoe and just made it even older. And unfortunately, I think that's just the fate of the Air Monarch. We can't switch it around too much. Alright guys, so that's today's video. We successfully mixed together, well not successfully, semi-successfully mixed together two classic sneakers, Air Force One and the Air Monarch. We got two out of three correct, which is a passing grade for me. I think this was fun. If you guys want to see me put more sneakers together, please let me know in the comments. Tell me which sneakers you'd want to see like combined because that would be fun to do and see what you guys are like thinking about and see like what kind of vibes we can get from that. If you haven't seen my last video, I fixed Tana Mojo's merch, which I hate and I still hate. So please go look at that if you want to. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all my social media and I will see you guys in the next video. Enemies F, we say fuck them The irony is they inspire me to love them G is past go when ignite the cash flow When eights is put your heart in whatever's your last hope